Kyiv in discussions with the United States to acquire long-range weapons to fight off Russian forces, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Friday. Without long-range weapons, it is difficult not only to carry out an offensive mission, but to be honest, also to conduct a defensive operation. Zelensky said, speaking alongside Czech Prime Minister Peter Fiala, we talked about it, about appropriate weapons with our partners. First and foremost, we are talking about long-range systems with the United States. It depends only on them as of today, he added. Zelensky explained that without those weapons, Russia maintained the upper hand in certain situations. It is very difficult. It means that you are defending your land and you cannot reach the appropriate distance to uh, destroy your enemy. That is, the enemy has a distance advantage. He said, The X Republic will provide Ukraine with combat helicopters and assist Kia with the training of FOA-16 fighter jet pilots, Czech Prime Minister Peter Fiala said Friday. The Czech Republic will help with the training of pilots, including pilots for F-16, and we will supply Ukraine with F-16 flight simulators so that the training can happen, not just in the West, but in Ukraine as well. Fiala said, speaking at a joint news conference with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Prague. Fiala also said, the Czech Republic have already sent 676 pieces of heavy equipment and over 4 million pieces of medium and large caliber ammunition to Ukraine. This means that every day since the first day of the war, about 10,000 pieces of ammunition and at least one tank, rocket launcher, howitzer, and so on have been leaving the Czech Republic for Ukraine. He said, when asked about Russia's frozen assets in the West, Fiala said the Czech Republic and European allies were discussing ways in which the frozen assets could be used to help fund Ukraine's post-war reconstruction. This is not a simple topic, either from a legal or other points of view, but intensive negotiations are taking place precisely so that we can also use these frozen assets to help Ukraine, Fiala said. Unnuclear watchdog making progress at Zaporizhia nuclear plant. Chief says the International Atomic Energy Agency is making progress inspecting several areas of Ukraine's Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant. And then Chief Rafael Grossi said Friday, following claims by Kyiv that the facility had been mined. Grossi said IEA officials had visited sites including cooling pools and hadn't seen any indication of explosives or mines in these places. On Tuesday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warned that Russia may be using the nuclear plant as a weapon. He accused Russian troops of placing objects resembling explosives on roofs at the plant. The United Nations nuclear watchdog had not yet been given access to the rooftop. Grossi said he also reminded reporters the plant is in an active war zone and that access takes time. Nuclear plant on front lines. The Zaporizhia facility is the largest nuclear plant in Europe and has been under Russian control since March last year. Its position on the front lines of the war means shelling nearby is common and it has frequently been disconnected from Ukraine's power grid, repeatedly raising fears of a nuclear accident. The Ukrainian air defenses shot down Russian attack drones overnight. Air Force says you. Ukraine's air defenses intercepted 12 of 18 Iran-made shade attack drones launched by Russia overnight into Thursday. The Ukrainian Air Force said the drones came from the southeast and were destroyed as a result of combat operations, units of anti-aircraft missile forces, fighter aircraft, and mobile fire groups of the Air Force. It said in a statement Friday, the statement did not mention what happened to the six drones that were not destroyed nor any damage they may have caused. Ukraine's big weapons donors not meeting commitments. Think Tank says deliveries of arms to Ukraine from key suppliers including the United States. Germany and the United Kingdom are falling well short of pledges, even as Ukrainian forces need them during their current offensive, according to a German think tank. In general, only slightly more than half of the heavy weapons committed have been delivered. In the Kiel Institute for the World Economy said Thursday on its Ukraine support tracker. The report also said pledges of new aid for the Kiev government decreased during the period covered by the report, February 25 to May 31, from the previous reporting period. After a spike in new pledges before the anniversary of the start of the war, the overall level of new commitments from Ukraine supporters has trended downward again. 
Christoph Trebesh, the team leader of the Ukraine support tracker, said in a statement, Military pledges gain in importance with the duration of the war and Ukraine's offensive plans. But the gap between promised and delivered military aid is wide. In a positive note for Ukraine, however, the report said smaller countries including the Czech Republic, Slovenia, Poland, and Slovakia had come through with about eight of the weapons they've promised.